Hi, this is Paul from expertalgos.com and this is a overview of some new strategies for the Expert Range Breakout uh, Auto Trader for our enterprise membership. Just want to go through um, <clears throat> two complementary strategies on natural gas. We're using the oil pit open because that's when a lot of the um, the action starts, if you like. So that's that 9 a.m. Um, EST time. And first of all, we have two different chart sets. So one is for the pure breakout, and a breakout has to be in the direction of the um, the trend, if you like. So when we get the oil pit open here, we see that the the five minute range for that first candle is red. So we're only looking for shorts in this trade, and it will automatically take those shorts. And we can see uh, next candle it takes it in, doesn't take any trailing stops out hits the target at 300 ticks there on natural gas. Just one contract. Uh, we can see that um, when we actually optimize this strategy, that 300 uh, ticks is the optimal um, target for these types of trades when we get that range breakout. Um, when we look at the uh, performance report, and this is over a 60 day period now, we're very selective when we're optimizing it to look at the uh, the days of the week when we look for that range breakout. Uh, and in 60 days, we only had 10 trades. OK, so we're very selective. Not not every uh, range will be broken out of uh, within the direction of the trend with a bias. Uh, so we're only looking for um, the the correct ones with the maximum range if it goes over that maximum range we don't trade it so we're very selective and we can see we've got an 80 percent win rate uh, we've got a profit factor of 8.48 which is phenomenal um we you know we've got we made on average per month three thousand four hundred dollars on that natural gas breakout trade but you can see here we got a little bit of a gross loss in there 850 and one of the reasons why we added the reversal module was to to negate that and and obviously spotting when those reversals happen when we get that oil range breakout um, sometimes that range reverses uh, and it goes against that main bias that main trend so we wanted to get that as well so we could um, really get more trades with any instrument really but this is just natural gas uh, so so remember that you know just over six thousand dollars in 60 days with only 10 trades that's the important thing there uh, then we go to the reversal different color chart it just helps me uh, identify which ones I've got on reversals which are ones I've got on normal range breakouts so in this case here with the reversal the range is red but when we get the oil range breakout uh, it doesn't go down it actually breaks out the top then if we get some heat it doesn't take doesn't break the low of that range and then it just goes for it hell for leather this time though the target is 150 ticks because it's not with the trend so the the move on average when we've been optimizing this is less it's about 50 percent less so we instead of 300 tick we have the 150 tick target you'll notice this green band here although the bias is red here at this point the order that goes in is for a long whereas when we go here we can see the bias uh, on the normal breakout is red and the the actual band here is red that's when that order is for the short but remember here this is for the reversal we see the reversal and it goes up and that goes long or short when we look at the performance report for this particular for the for the reversals over a 60 day period the same 60 day period uh, we can see that's four thousand four hundred and eighty dollars profit so between them both uh, we have very small gross losses very high percentage win rates and around about ten eleven thousand dollars profit so we're taking advantage of identifying that range first off with the um, the range breakout in the direction of the trend and the bias and there are 10 great trades then on the reversal side when we get that same range um, but it, it turns around if you like we have 13 trades 10 of which are winners 
$11,000 profit over two months is good. High profit factors and just being very selective. Um, and what I mean by selective is we're only trading on certain days. So if I just zoom out a little bit here on, um, on the reversal, you can see on this particular day, this is the, this is the point that we want to trade. But if I go, uh, let's go to the right, um, we will see on some ranges like this one here, there is no trading window because we, we've optimized and figured out that actually reversals um, don't happen so, so often on these particular days. And when they do, they're losers. Uh, and then we'll go through. We see here we got uh, we got an order for a short on this one, but it didn't take us in. We got a long breakout trade there and that, that other strategy on the other charts that would have taken it in. Uh, so it's only specific days of the week when we look for reversals and the same for those range breakouts. Go to where we are right now. See, it hasn't traded for a few days here. We've had uh, a window, but it didn't take it. We had another window, but it didn't take it. So it's very, very selective on the maximum range of that opening range, but also um, when um, when it takes it, what, what days of the week it takes it. And in this case here, it wasn't a big winner. They're not all big winners. But what we have is the safety net in there. So when it goes over a certain amount of ticks, we move the stop to break even. And again, when we're optimizing that, we're finding the optimal amount of ticks. Because if it does reverse, we want to make sure we take just a little bit of profit there and we don't actually give ourselves too much risk of making too many losses. Uh, and when we look on the main uh, breakout strategy here, uh, we can see we've had some, you know, we've had a, a great trade at this point here. And again, it's only on certain time, certain days of the week. We'll see where it's grey on this band here. There's no trading on this particular one. There was no range breakout on this particular day. So very, very, very selective. Let's find another trade here. Again, break even trade. I would take a small bit of profit because it didn't run. You can see here it came down the the. The, the stop uh, was moved to break even or five ticks in this case, and then it came back up again. So we're spotting that behavior and making sure uh, that we are risk free reasonably quickly. In this case here, we see there's another one where there's a long and again, it hits that that break even. Uh, so it's about probing the markets whilst remaining reasonably safe and looking for those runners. And the, those performance reports shows you that actually we do get the runners, but it's not every day. When we're when we're trading these breakouts with the auto trader, it's about being patient, understanding we're not going to get a trade every single trading session. But when we do, like this long at this point here, and this is where this optimization comes in on the long here for, for natural gas, 300 ticks just goes a little bit beyond and then comes back down. And that other trade, remember, it looked a little short, but when we're averaging out, we're getting some of these big moves in there. Hopefully that helps. Just a quick look on uh, the Enterprise membership. The links are down below for the Enterprise membership uh, to take a look. But again, just this one strategy, you can see at the bottom here, all the strategies I'm running right now consecutively, they don't all take trades on the same day of the week. They don't all take trades on the same hour of the day. Uh, but what we do is have good exposure to lots of different markets, whether it's, um, you know, they're all futures, but whether it's metals, energy, indexes, even currencies, we're looking for uh, the optimal time of the day of the trade, the optimal strategy to trade, and really just being very selective on those trading strategies uh, and when we trade them. Hopefully that helps. Speak to you all really soon.